This is without a doubt the most difficult season I've ever gone through in my entire life. It's like so many balls in the air, so many things going on that the pressure is tremendous. And just still trying to like keep it in perspective, you know, keep a good attitude, just try and focus on the good things and um, create a safe environment for my family. It's just, it's, mm. it really is very tough. Mm. It really is but tough. Now, you know what? Try mm. after today to uh, not concentrate on the fact that it's mm. tough. Concentrate mm. on the fact that you can allow yourself to just mm. let it go a little bit. Sure. Okay. And, and actually just enjoy it. You mustn't, yeah. you don't make a project of enjoying it mm. and knowing it will get better. Just yeah. go with roll it. with it. Mm. Just roll with it. And if it makes it easier to go mm. sit on the beach mm. with the children, for yeah. even if it's for half an hour, because it just mm. deflates a situation that's building. Yeah. And I mean, you can't sit beside the sea and not relax yourself. That is that true. Yeah. <laughs> even if you know you've got to get back and your work is stacked up. Mm. Forget that work. He's going to come yeah. home and help you with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and yeah, just mm. do whatever. But in that moment, mm. but you are quite a cerebral person. I think mm. a lot comes from there. There's obviously mm. a lot of heart and softness, but mm. you are an analyzer. Yeah. <laughs> and really, uh, people who analyze do mm. fi uh, find this very challenging. Yeah. This, but. Understanding that can help you mm. say, well, I'm going to get back to my analytical self later. Mm. Okay. You're going to be an even better analyst later mm. because you've got this experience. Mm. Yeah. It's a very healthy way of looking at it. Uh, mm. what, what do you see that we're not seeing? Well, I think um, just sometimes there's things that might seem counterintuitive. And like Fully said, it's really important to everything to be in, in, in line and, and that puts her in a certain state. But almost the counterintuitive thing to do is like, like you say, just roll with it and be more relaxed. And by doing that, even though it seems counterintuitive, she's actually going to be more equipped to keep everything on going the right way, like she wants, because she's doing that in from a place of rest rather than yes. overwhelm. Yeah. So by actually relaxing, you can do more. Yes. So I noticed that thing and then the other thing I also just realized is that uh, when you learn to be relaxed and trusting your intuition, the way that you show up doing your day-to-day -day things or in the important things, mm -hmm. etc., is a much um, from a place of confidence. Yes. So I, I would mm -hmm. say those two things is like relaxing, learning to relax, in, even though things might seem chaotic and noisy mm -hmm. and whatever, mm -hmm. and just learning to trust your confidence because, you know, she's literally been made to do this. It's biological instinct, it's yes. intuition, it's all those wonderful nurturing things from a mother. Mm -hmm. And I think while you're in that state of putting yourself too much pressure on you, you're limiting those natural abilities to shine. Yes. So that's mm -hmm. just my one observation that I see. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, I think that's where maybe you do do one of those morning sleep-ins mm -hmm. already, but make that a regular thing because yeah. I can tell you that my experience is that a woman who does mm. want that order and wants to basically mm. what it, you're saying is you want to do the best you possibly can and not realizing that the best yes. is sometimes what looks like chaos yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a chaotic phase you know yeah. so let it be okay that you're never going to let it become irresponsibly chaotic that's mm. true yeah it's that's not true. in your nature no. but it's it, it's one of the most challenging things when you are cerebrally driven and you mm. and order is important and you want to see things be the best they mm. are it, it is mm. a, Parenting is a big challenge, but it's also a learning curve. Mm. And that's why I say, you come out of this phase one day, you're going to be so rich as a person, as a human, because it's such a learning experience. Yeah. You know? but it's it's not. We mustn't just think of it as a learning experience. You just got to love it. Just love it. Let the chaos go. <laughs> Do those little things. And and Charles, you know, there's a few little tricks that if you can see the signs building that you can help with, apart from going away with the kiddies for yes. a while, is just get 
always have music in the house, number all right. one. That's always, you know, when, you know, when you, yes. I know because I know music is important to you, but yes. music cuts through almost everything. That's and, right. And then I always talk about the little mini magic massage points. One of the most important is between the eyebrows. Just okay. go and stand behind her and with your index finger, between her eyebrows, just do that. She's just going to go like that. Okay. And then put one on either, either temple. Okay. And just do that. And you can do it for him too, and your kiddies. Mm. Yes. Over the heart. Oh, yes, behind the ears as well. So you go right. with the curve of the ear, over the heart, just below the belly button. Yes. And the one that makes every woman just go all <laughs> weak at the knees is you take her big toe. All Don't right. try and yank it off her foot, just lift it <laughs> gently. And just wiggle it around. Okay. I promise you, she'll be like, oh, okay. okay. I can do this. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll so definitely try that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's amazing. I think um, sometimes when you see the or realize the enormity of the task at hand or everything you want to do, you think it takes the circulating effort or whatever. But it's little things like this that yes. actually the tiny interest at swing the big door. So I love mm. things like that. Um, yeah. So I'll definitely yeah. do that. Yeah. No, the big picture is made up of little pictures. Yes. Yeah. And you know how they always used to say, um, look after the cents and the yeah. pounds, will take, pounds care. will take care of themselves or the pennies and the pounds, whatever. Yeah. Same, same for the fabric of a family. Yeah. And, but I want to compliment you because actually not many families even have three children anymore. So I know you, you've you got a lot on your shoulders. But I, I just hope for you, you can be easy on yourself as well yeah. and, and enjoy it. You give yourself permission to enjoy yeah. this phase. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you. I definitely will. That's great. I look forward yeah. to hearing how it's going. Okay. That's awesome. wonderful. Thanks, Lillian. <laughs> Super helpful. Thank Pleasure, you. Pleasure, Charlotte. Yeah. Lisa Thanks. Marie and little Levi and the other two kiddies as well. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have got good values, so you're doing a really good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>